Hello and welcome to Devil's Advocate. Is the BJP guilty of inflaming separatism in the valley because it's put its own interests before those of the country? That's the key issue I shall explore today with the General Secretary of the party, Arun Jaitley. Mr. Jaitley, let's start with the BJP's role in Jammu. How do you justify the fact that a party that preaches nationalism is deliberately pursuing a policy that's inflaming separatism in the Kashmir Valley? Well, I think uh, you're being too naive when you ask this question. Do you seriously think that the separatists in the valley have relaunched this separatist movement merely because of the land issue? Absolutely. They were absolutely not. They've, and I'll, I'll, they've I'll, been I'll, given the opportunity will, because will, of the land issue. Absolutely not. And let's not be naive. We've been naive for the last 60 years, those who subscribe to that thought, and I won't be naive. And I let me answer it. First, the separatists lied to the whole country, to the whole world, saying that Hindu colonization would get, come up in the valley. There was nobody in the valley, not even the state government or the central government, which countered that propaganda. The separatists lied to the whole world, saying there is an economic blockade. Nobody was willing to counter that. We were the ones who are countering it. I'm afraid and today, and today, we are the ones who are saying that the land transfer is pursuant to a law enacted by the state legislature, pursuant to a direction of the High Court. Why should it not be implemented? All right, I let you have your say in full without interrupting you. Now let me reply. First of all, it wasn't the separatists alone who reacted to the land transfer. The PDP and the National Conference Party, who are not separatist parties, were just as vehement that's about it. That's a tragedy. Well, that's a fact. Secondly, that's a when, tragic fact. it's a fact, though. The second point is that when it comes to the blockade, there was a blockade. Figures released by the Jammu and Kashmir Horticultural Department, a part of the official government, prove that between the 1st of August and the 17th of August this year, only 890 trucks bearing fruit came from Srinagar to the Banihal Pass, whereas last year, during the same dates, the figure was 2,148. The be, fall is nearly 60%. Let's be, let's be very clear. If you have a band in Jammu and a curfew in Jammu for 50 days, if you have a curfew in the valley for 30 days plus, Business is bound to go down. It didn't I have, please, I have gone to the valley myself. We asked the army, the district administration, as to what is the position. They gave us daily figures. This was not the apple season, this was the Babu Gosha season. And they said, there is nothing lying on record in the stocks. We have today 90 trucks waiting at the Sabzi Mandis. And there is nothing to be loaded on it. It was a false propaganda. I Any fall on traffic could be because of the bunt and the curfews. The fall in traffic was not because of any economic The blockage. fall in the traffic was because your ministers of the Punjab government, Manuranjan Kalia and Mohan Lal, were actively creating a blockage at Madhapur. Both of them there camped. Was Let me finish. Both of them camped at Pathan Court. They implemented a blockade, and more importantly, they personally obstructed trucks from Jammu and Kashmir. And you can't deny absolute, that. This is absolutely incorrect. They haven't denied we it. Have I am I'm denying it for the reason there were protests in Jammu, there were protests in Punjab, which led to the disruption of traffic. The BJP leadership, the Akali Dal leadership in Punjab, personally intervened and said, protest on any road, but don't, or not on the highway. Because the highway forgive may me. lead to a You're, stoppage of forgive traffic. Forgive me, Mr. Any Jaitley. stoppage of traffic on a, on, a, on a traffic because of a protest Mr. is Jaitley, not a problem. you're wrong. Your own MLA, Dinesh Kumar Babu, said this. He boasted about it. He said, I led the agitation. We will not allow JNK trucks to ply in Punjab. At see, Madhapur, one day, he stopped them. One day, there was a problem because of a demonstration. They were told to keep their demonstrations outside the national highway. The fact of the matter is that the drug controller in Jammu and Kashmir had to appeal for the airlifting of drugs. He did it officially. The Divisional Commissioner Kashmir wrote to the All India Pharmaceutical Manufacturers Association to arrange supplies from other cities. Again, half truth. Again, half A truth. Complete truth. Half truth because the drug controller and the Divisional Commissioner, when they appeared before the All Party Committee, said the distributors of these medicines were in Jammu. Because there was curfew and bund in Jammu, they could not get it, and therefore the manufacturers must directly supply it to the valley. No. Now, it was not That's because of any blockage. Truth. No, I'm afraid. No, That's I'm the half truth. Well, I heard the divisional commissioner myself. You didn't hear him. No. And therefore, therefore the divisional commissioner told the all-party delegation this was obstructed because of the bund and the curfew in Jammu. So we asked the manufacturers, and we've never had a short supply. The reason it's a half-truth is because you haven't answered the question, why was that an obstruction taking place? And the reason is this. Drivers were scared to cross, as a result of which yes, JK02 traffic doesn't go north, and JK01 doesn't well, come south. Tell you, At Ramban, every traffic stopped, you, which is why there is a blockade, again, which is why people's livelihoods are suffering. Again, a partial tainted presentation of fact. Drivers on both sides were scared. 
drivers on both sides were scared and that is why drivers need security and we were told that security was being provided and to that drivers. is why in fact as a result the valley felt cut off that is why the valley was never cut off was in flames. let me be very clear i visited the valley not a single packet of fruit was lying in the valley which had to be transported out the divisional commissioner said they have abundance of medicines which they have directly brought to the valley forgive me mubin shah the president of the kashmir chamber of commerce says that if fruit industry in kashmir is worth 2500 crore it suffered a loss this year of 1000 crore well, that is almost 40% well mubin shah is a part of the huriyat he refused to meet the all party delegation he was loading those leading those trucks which were going to mushafarabad he was preventing the trucks from being loaded at the sabzi mandis which the divisional commissioner had put up 90 trucks had been put up and he was preventing that to be done up let us not take his statement to be the gospel all right truth. let's look then at a core fact that you seem to have brought let's go away from the tutu meme of facts let's come to the reality you know that kashmir is a different state to any other in india it's disputed between india and pakistan it's an unresolved matter if you take the lahore declaration well, I, which your government signed in well, those uh, circumstances let me finish in those circumstances to persist with the blockade when it had led to calls for the opening up of the muzaffarabad border was to pour oil let on me, fire you did that you inflamed sentiments that were let latent me, let you me, created a secessionist movement let me anybody who says that there was an economic blockade is trying to give weight to the falsehood spread by the separatists that there was a blockade the army's position is no blockade the government of india's position is no blockade the sangarsh samiti told us there was never a blockade there won't be a blockade any hospitals are complaining it, of shortage of medicine the, no we were Shop told we were told, of we were told by the divisional we of were shortage told by the meat. divisional commissioner that there is a sufficiency of medicines as far as hospitals are concerned the governor maintained that let's not go by the huriyat propaganda Secondly, i'm not going by the huriyat propaganda yes, yes. i'm going by the indian express the times of well, india the hindustan times well, am, almost every am journalist was his name I am proves going by it. what the district administration there has told us what the hospital administration has told us what the army administration there has told us and let me tell you kashmir is not a, going to be i do not accept this proposition of kashmir being disputed it may be pakistan's unfinished agenda after pakistan after independence the lahore but, declaration but, signed by your government calls it an outstanding issue that clearly the, means it's unresolved the your own government said the so the outstanding issue only is and i reiterate it that pakistan must accept that kashmir is an integral part of india and india will not under any circumstances barter away an inch of its territory that may be your interpretation but the fact of the matter is that the world recognizes kashmir as a disputed situation afraid, the indian government has on many occasions am, accepted that it has to require afraid, a final settlement i am afraid on account of the erroneous policies of the government of india in the nine, late 40s and the early 50s there was some internationalizing of the issue the last few years the world is not willing to internationalize this issue and let me tell you but by actually india and pakistan have accepted it has to be sorted out your nine, government has accepted after it after 9/11 particularly the world is not going to listen to such separatist organizations which have used violence in order as an instrument of separatism let me come to the core issue that you don't want to focus upon it is this that for the last 10 years increasingly the separatist tendency was dying down this year you had record turnout of tourists and yet what has the bjp implemented blockade in jammu done you've inflamed separate tendency to the what point that we finished done? to the point at which the separatists today are thanking you said ali shah gilani the most hardline islamist of the lot has publicly said i thank the bjp for reviving a movement that was flagging well i don't think we need we need that compliment or thanks from him let me make it very clear we are only supporting the demand of the amarnath sangarsh samiti in jammu and the demand precisely is this that you have lakhs of tourists going the shrine board has a duty under law to maintain the pilgrim facilities the shrine board has been legitimately transferred some land to be used during the yatra the and to this if the separatist protests and the government of india comes to that pressure if the government of india starts coming to pressure of separatists then governance in india really will not have legitimacy it's not the fact that you're supporting the avadar demand that i question it's the manner and the implication and the consequence What of the, the way manner? you're doing it the, you have the, cut off the valley let me finish this time you have cut off the valley you have generated a feeling amongst the people of kashmir well, that they it, do not belong as a result you have inspired them a desire for azadi one or secession to movements that were latent have now revived suddenly the whole valley with one voice is shouting ga ga pakistan do you know what they're saying about india they're saying bharat teri maut aayi and your blockade is solely responsible for this 
Well, I reject this suggestion that you are making in toto. What you are suggesting that there is a blockade only aids the kind of false propaganda which is done by the separatists. Not only I reject it, this is supported by what the journalists who have been flown by the government of India in the army helicopters along the helicopter. What about the journalists who are there, who know Kashmir, who live there, who well, write people, for the papers? Well, let me tell you, people who have seen it, cameras don't lie, men do. And yes. therefore, I have seen it on cameras that there was no blockade. You've seen it cameras on cameras. Cameras have shown hundreds of thousands of Kashmiris for the first time waving Pakistani flags well, the in their cameras, lax, demanding well, well, Azadi. The cameras, Suddenly, administration has collapsed. Well, the cameras the have cause. also shown four lakh people holding the national flag in Jammu, courting arrest peacefully for their demand that give us this land which is meant for pilgrim facilities. But could you not therefore, have demanded not... it without a blockade? Could you not have there was pursued no blockade. it the without blockade, a blockade? The blockade is a lie perpetuated by the ISI, supported by the Huriyat, and therefore I would only urge responsible Indian journalists not to give any credibility Except to such a blockade. Except for the fact that it's widely believed by everyone in Srinagar and in the valley, and let me quote Well, this is rebutted as... by the army, this is rebutted by the district administration, this is rebutted by the state government, the government of India, and the BJP. You have all these words against your words. Except for the fact that the information secretary of the lashkar e toiba is also amongst those who's thanking your party. Let me quote to you what he well, says. Let me Huriyat quote you. and lashkar e toibas me... word may carry weight with you, they don't carry weight with you. Unfortunately, they carry weight with the people of the valley that's well, what that's the tragedy me... and it should not carry weight with the people of valley that's what we have to judge you're decide. creating a situation where well, we it creating, does you're not we undermining creating, the influence you're creating, adding to it we are only creating a situation where people in the valley should uh, should not raise a demand which is separatist in character and the government of india should not cow down to a demand which is separatist but in look character. at the way that you've inflamed separatist sentiment this is what the information secretary of the let says he says the bjp suits us lashkar e toiba is getting a good response because of the BJP sentiments. And then he says, we pray to God they come to power again. Then well, we I, will I, emerge I, even stronger. Well, I you have are, nothing to say. You are we've doing been in what power. Pakistan failed to do in we've six been years. In power. You've done it we've in been six in power weeks. at six years in the center. We initiated a pro peace process. We moved Kashmir toward, towards the direction of peace. And now peace. you're pushing it all the way sorry, to Pakistan. I am sorry, we are not doing that. All we are doing it is, if separatists raise a demand, don't allow the aspirations of the nationalists to be cowed down. All right, let's take a break at that point. Let's come back and talk about one other way in which, without thinking, and simply because you're trying to get the best interest for your party, you're once again pushing Jammu into a divide with the valley. That's in a moment's time after the break. Welcome back to Devil's Advocate and an interview with BJP General Secretary Arun Jaitley. Mr. Jaitley, in part one we talked about how the BJP was deliberately inflaming separatist sentiment. You disputed it. I insisted that was how the Valley saw it. What's perhaps even more inexplicable is that in those very circumstances, now your former party president Venkaya Naidu is claiming that Jammu is underrepresented and unfairly treated by the political system, that it hasn't got an adequate representation in the state assembly. Is this the right time at which to raise such well, emotional, political, sensitive issues? Well, let's first know the facts. Today, you have in Jammu more number of voters numerically, and yet they are underrepresented in the assembly. They have lesser jobs as far as state government is concerned. They have lesser admissions as far as colleges are concerned. Now, the entire movement in Jammu, maybe because of land at the moment, but there's a huge sense of discrimination the people have. The government must address that sense of a discrimination at certain Once stages. Once again, I allowed you to present the facts as you see them, and I'm sorry, but you've got the facts wrong. The truth is that if you go by the registered voters, no doubt Jammu has more registered voters than the valley, but you know and I know that because of the militancy and because of the violence, there's huge under-registration in the valley. So instead, go by the total population. That's how constituencies are divided as well. And if you look at that... Well, you, I find, that, finish, I find finish, that ludicrous what let you me say. Finish. If All you, right, go, by, it, if you, if you go by the total population, you'll discover that there are 46 MLAs in Kashmir, 37 in Jammu, but for every MLA, there is 119,000 people in both regions, which means that the division is done perfectly in accordance with the population. It's not unfair. It's totally justified. Now, now you've made a point. This appeared in a story in the Hindu. That's where you got the data from. And you must now know the true facts. 1951, there was no census in JNK. 1961, Kashmir had 3 lakh people more than Jammu. 71, it had 3 lakh people more. 81, again, it had 4 lakh people more. Bit 91, there was no census. 
So 4 lakh more in 81, between 81 and 2001, you had Kashmiri pundits being pushed out, you had the Sikhs being pushed out, you have the wealthier Muslims also being pushed out because they found it unsafe. So the population of Jammu would have increased. Instead, the 2001 census, a rigged census, I reiterate, showed 11 lakhs more in the valley, which should have come down. So the election commission said, we'll go door to door and conduct a registration of voters. In militancy, you can register people in terms of population. You can also register voters. And suddenly you find Jammu has more voters. Today you have an incongruous situation where Valley has more registered people through that census of 2001, but effectively two and a half lakh less voters. It's very interesting that today you're raising disputes about the credibility of the 2001 census, which you call a rigged census. You happen to be the government in well, power at the time me, when the census me, was declared. Me, Why sorry. did you not express these doubts uh, earlier? Well, Why are you conveniently issue, raising them today? I'm sorry. This is... When the facts belie your contention and claim, you are now coming to a question, why didn't you raise it? It's not the, the BJP, facts, it's your interpretation. BJP, There's a different thing. I'm it's sorry. not facts, it's interpretation. I have given you the figures from 1961 to 2001. Population when, can change in 20 years. Well, pop, population of Doda, Kishtawar and Bhadrava, which were the Muslim-majority districts of Jammu, did not change, but population if of Valley If the population changed. of New York can jump because of 12 hours and one night of power failure, and you know that that's happened, surely in 20 years well, the population can change as well. surely you've been reading the well. newspapers in the last 20 years, people migrate out of the valley did not migrate into the but valley. Why? So population should have come but down. If it's it a, couldn't have increased but 11 lakhs. it's a rigged census, why now, did you now, not raise now, this concern when you were in power? Yes, it happened yes, in your time. Been, I'm sorry, this has been raised at every stage. The Jammu people have raised it. I was a part of one of the working groups in the Prime Minister's round table. I have raised it in writing there. Is this, however, leave the facts aside because there's going to be a difference of interpretation. There's going to be a difference this of is motivation. There is no scope for interpretation. And you know what Churchill and said half... about. And you know what Churchill said about statistics. They come after lies and damned lies. Well, the number of voters in Jammu is two and a half lakhs more. But, but how why, does the valley have more people? But why, at the most sensitive time when the valley is inflamed, when the divide between Jammu According and Kashmir is at its worst, why raise it now? Well, I think your heart bleeds not for Jammu, only for the valley. You must also My realize... My heart bleeds for India. Your Yours heart doesn't. must bleed for India. Yours doesn't. Your Yours heart, only bleeds I for the BJP. Sorry. Your vision and policies have been responsible for what has happened in Kashmir. As far as Jammu is concerned, it is crying of discrimination. This is a strong ground of discrimination and you want to shut a popular debate out on this issue. It's not that it's a popular debate. It's that the BJP is deliberately exploiting a situation to gain electoral benefit. You are blind. I am so, afraid... Can I finish? Can I am afraid if statistics suit Jammu, it hurts some people. Can I finish the question? You're so blinded by your belief that by jumping onto the Jammu bandwagon, you can improve your electoral prospects for the next I'm election. I'm afraid not. You don't care what happens to the valley. You're putting the BJP before the country, and that's what I'm I accusing you of. I am putting the country before, and that is why I am deeply concerned about 60 years of policy where this separate status concept of Kashmir has led to a movement towards separatism. I think the history will make a cruel judgment one day. Was the Nehruvian vision right on Kashmir? Was Dr. Mukherjee's vision right? And I'm sure we'll, both of us will await that judgment. I'm glad you brought up history today. Many people in India believe that India could be at the brink of losing the valley forever. If that were to happen, history will judge that the BJP was the person that gave the valley well, the, the first push into the arms of Islamabad. Well, the history will then say this will not happen. This will not happen because I am one of those who firmly believe Azadi is not even a distant dream for those separatists. It's an impossibility. India will not and should not even compromise with an inch of the its The tragedy territory. is that the and BJP the may make comes, a distant dream if, of and I am reality. Not therefore, I am therefore not going to get into the blame game, though I firmly believe the Congress even today must correct 60 years of error into which it has fallen. All right, Mr. Jaitley, I'll let you have the last word. A pleasure talking to you Thank on you. Devil's Advocate.